Good morning, dogs. I don't know about you guys, but I snooze my alarm five times. After the pledge, yearbook, student passes, college visits, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hot dogs, if you're interested in purchasing a yearbook for this year, now is your time to. There is a week left to purchase them for the lowest price of the year for only $30. You can pay in partial payments if needed. Also, a payment of $10 will reserve your yearbook at the seller price for $30. You can place your order online or at the bookstore. Student passes are only available at $25 for this week, so make sure you get your passes by Friday to get that phenomenal deal. Seniors, don't forget Purdue University is coming on September 6th, and IU of Indianapolis, formerly known as IUPUI, is coming on September 14th. If you're interested in these schools, sign up in Student Services. Now, to Mr. Stuck at Chipotle for sports. Yo, 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 good morning, dogs. It's Monday, we're back in business. Friday night at the football game, our dogs unfortunately fell to the Gophers, 8-39. to Coach Byers says the physicality that the offense and defense had in week one was not as great as it was in week two. Offensive and defensive mistakes hurt the hot dogs as five turnovers led to multiple scoring drives for the Gophers. Caleb Boggs again led the team in rushing with 61 yards, and Doug Wood scored the lone touch touchdown. Lala Castillo led the defense from his free safety position with seven solo tackles, and Gar Garrick Burge forced three pass breakups and held Prairie's top receiver to zero catches for the entire game. The Dogs look to rebound and return to the physical side of play this week at home against number five, Tri-West. Kickoff is set at 7 p.m. Nice effort, guys. Over the weekend, the cross country got a positive turnout at the Danville Holcomb Kareem meet. The boys team finished third overall out of 15 teams, notably ahead of Danville, Weibo, and Clinton Central, while following to Sagamore Conference defending champs Lebanon. Coach Galati said that they were led by Devin Jagger and Chris Angelis in fourth place. Also, Chris broke a 14-year FHS individual record by two seconds with a three-mile total time of 14 minutes and 39 seconds, being the only runner in the meet this year to run all three mile loops under five minutes, including his final and fastest mile of 449. Incredible job, Chris. Way to set a record. The girls team finished fourth overall out of 15 teams, tying Danville originally, but winning the tiebreaker to stay ahead of Danville. The girls team was defeated by Weibo this time in defending Sagamore Conference champs Lebanon but they did defeat Clinton Central. The girls had two pairs finishing in the top 10, Alina Ramirez and Noemi Garcia in fifth place, then Alexis Reed Gill and Ashley Vasquez Rivera in 10th place. Nice job, ladies and gentlemen. Also over the weekend, the girls soccer team competed in the hot dog invite here at home. In the first game, the Lady Dogs played the Tri-Central Trojans. They controlled the action from the beginning, peppering the Tri-Central goalie with shots and finding the back of the net three times in the first half. It was a great display on offensive showcase by Emily Mora and Rachel Garcia. Rachel Garcia's both netting hat tricks in the game, while Michelle Martinez had a nice day setting up her teammates with multiple assists and a goal herself. Other goals scored in the first game were Ava Michael and Vanessa Guajardo. The, the Dogs won 9-3 in the first game and advanced to the championship against an undefeated LaPel team. LaPel came out very strong and scored five goals in the first half. The Dogs fought back in the second half and had goals scored by Emily Mora, Natalie Cruz, and Michelle Martinez. The Dogs unfortunately couldn't come back with, within the time limit and fell to the Bulldogs 3-6. Nice job, ladies. And now to tonight's event. The volleyball team is playing here at home against the Peru Tigers. JV will start at 6 and varsity will follow. Don't worry, you already know your boy is going to be going crazy in the student section. The theme for tonight is construction, so come out and get loud. For the team in your hard hats and construction vests. The student section is fun, y'all need to come out, I wouldn't lie to y'all. But if you can't come out and still want to tune in, the game will be streamed on our hot dog network called by our very own Doug Wood and Garrick Burge. It's going to be a good game, and who doesn't want to hear Doug and Garrick on air? 
Last but not least, Ms. Palmer wanted me to remind everyone that if you've bought a student sporting pass and you haven't given her your shirt size, then email her your shirt size now. You gotta get that free shirt. I believe that wraps up for sports today. I hope everyone gets after it today. We back, baby. Let's start the week right. Now we're gonna send it to our guy who just caught up with the volleyball team, Garrick Burge. What is up, hot dogs? Garrick Burge here from the Hot Dog Network. Today, I managed to catch up with some of the volleyball players, and here is what they had to say. My goals this season are to work on my mental toughness, sending positive vibes to my team, and having a winning season. I've been trying to cheer on my teammates when it gets hard and telling them it's okay, you got the next point, and also for myself to stay in that mindset as well. My goals this season is to really just grow as a team and hopefully get further in sectionals. Something I really focus on is being just supportive of all my teammates, especially like the freshmen and just getting their confidence up. Thanks a lot, Lady Hot Dogs, and have a great rest of your season. Their next home game is Monday against the Peru Tigers. Be sure to come out and show your support. Rise and shine, dogs. They say the early bird gets the worm. Well, the Frankfurt High School football team did just that and woke up at 5 a.m. for a morning practice. I think it's safe to say that the worm was not ready. Today's low will be 58 with a high of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Be ready for what's to come. Now, to your host, Fake Tooth Edwin. For lunch today in lines one and two will be chicken alfredo with the garlic knot. In line three will be barbecue sandwich and chips. And in line four will be pull apart pizza. We want to give a big happy birthday to Jasmine Hodgen, Madison Montgomery, Isabel Cemento, and lastly to Tristan Tarkington. That's it for the announcements today, dogs. Have a marvelous Monday. <laughs>